Hello there, YouTubers. Just wanted to uh, come on here and just talk to you guys for a bit. Excuse me. Drinking coffee messed up my lipstick. Um, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that has been really, really, really um, been sitting um, in my heart, I guess over the, these last months that we have been on quarantine and I just wanted to express to you that you know, you don't have to be a jerk to everybody, you know, I, I see things on social media, on Instagram, on, on Facebook, Twitter is the worst by chance, you know um, I just feel like a lot of us need to take some time out and really, I know things are hard uh, we just need to stop being such jerks. For example, a lot of us have been in quarantine since February, March, and we're now going to April. That's a long, a long, long time for, you know, many of us. And, you know, I hear posts of neighbours sending letters to the neighbours saying, why are you out, you stupid beep, 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 beep. You know, neighbours getting mad at each other for going out. I mean, you send letters to your neighbours? Okay, I understand that, you know, we want to sit in and hopefully for the curve to go down, whatever, you know, media's been promoting. And I, I just sit and think, like, man, if I go out right now, people are going to think I'm doing something bad. Not just because I have this over my head. You know, but they're going to assume, oh god, she's going to go do something. You know, I'm stuck at my house with five children. Sh okay, I thought I heard them come in. I've been stuck at the house with five children for these last two months. God forbid that I get in my car and just drive around the city. Like, do we really have to be like that? Stalking people 24-7, looking out the window. Oh God, there goes Shelley. You know, like, jeez, bloody, bloody neighbor sometimes, you know? Like, sit back for a moment and really think about your actions. Like, jeez, if this is the first time that you actually start sending letters to your neighbors, oh, you... Beep, 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 beep. What do you think you're doing? Do you really think that by you going out to the bars, you're really going to help? You are the problem. Like, this is what I hear. This is what my friend told me. Like, jeez. First of all, you don't know if these people are going out to the bars. You don't know. So don't assume. Like I told you. I've been stuck in this house with five kids. You won't even let the people drive anymore. Like, gosh, come on, people. And here's the thing that bothers me. You assume, you assume without even asking your neighbors, how are they doing? Like, oh, you're sending a letter. Might as well send them a letter. Hey, are you doing okay, neighbor? I see that you keep going outside. Why are you going outside? Are your children driving you crazy? Do you wish to lock them all up for five hours just so that you can get a nap? Yeah, that's probably why. Don't just assume. Anybody could assume and then become a jerk. Like, jeez, maybe your neighbor ran out of toilet paper. And they had to... Halfway through their going to the, you know, bathroom, put up the pants, run to the drugstore or store, market, whatever you want to call it, and get some toilet paper. And they're trying to get in and out because they still stink. They didn't finish going to the bathroom, if you get what I mean. Like, come on. When did we stop helping each other? That's all I want to know. When do we have to become such ogres and our own patrolmen and our own neighborhood watch party, whatever you call it? Like... Where I'm from originally, we we looked out for one another. We really did. It wasn't to, 
you know, to throw the police and here's a number where you can call to report your neighbour so they can get fined. Like, really? Would you want that? And you know what? Some of us, we, we sometimes don't see from other perspectives until it happens to us. So before you become the pol- patrolman, whatever they call it, or, you know, begin to stop making assumptions and really all you're being is a jerk and you're being a prejudice because and you're being selfish too because all you're thinking is about yourself like really just take the time to give me a moment okay no no i thought that we're coming i'm gonna have to go now because i hear footsteps and god i'm gonna need to drive soon